This video is sponsored by Bluebell Crafts. It's almost festive season. What are you wearing to the beach or any other places? No, look no further than Bluebell Crafts. They are here to serve you. Can you contact the number on the screen for your um, crochet works? Hello, Adiocha. I'm very excited you received our invitation and you didn't incline them. I'm very happy to have you on my show. I'm also happy as well. So can you give us a little introduction about yourself? Okay, sure. So I'm Adwoe Cham Ankwa, an aspiring optometrist and a third year student of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So I'm looking forward to share my knowledge and passion for eye care to you all. Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you very much. So. What inspired you to become an optometrist? Okay, so my inspiration to pursue a career in optometry stemmed from my personal experience. So as I was growing up, mm. my grandfather moved in to stay with us. Okay. And through his stay, he had cataracts, which ultimately mm. led to his vision loss. Okay. Through witnessing the profound vision loss in his quality of life, it drove my passion to pursue a, ca a career in optometry to okay. make a difference in the lives of others. Okay. So through that, I did various research. And through mm. the research, I got so fascinated about the complexities of the human eye. And here I am, so, embarking on the journey to become an, a future, one of the best optometrists in the nation. So can we say you were inspired by your grandfather? Yes. Oh. And through that inspiration, seeing people suffer from certain eye, eye diseases sorry they have no idea about sometimes it saddens me oh. so i'll be like what can i do Good in my help. power to help those people oh, okay. yes that's why right. so in your things. definition there were some scientific words or there are some scientific words you want you to break down first okay. so you want to know the difference between optometrist mm -hmm. optician and after Mologist, okay yeah. so there are all these people help help sorry. professionals in IK so when you take ophthalmologist they are doctors that perform surgeries mm -hmm. eye doctors that perform surgeries okay. okay so optometrists are also professionals mm -hmm. they diagnose right. treat and management diseases and disorders of the eye and visual system. Okay. So optometrists, they don't they perform, don't perform surgery. surgery. Yes. Oh, all right. Yeah. So that's the difference. Then. And we have opticians. Okay. Opticians are those that fix glasses oh, okay. and contact lenses. They so, design and fix glasses and contact lenses. Okay. So like when you yes. go to the eye care, mm -hmm. like eye care hospital, mm -hmm. those that give lenses are op opticians. Right. Yes, we give them the prescription. Oh, okay, so they, yes. they are controlled by um, Optometri optometrists. Yes, okay. to give out the glasses. So meaning all these three people work together? Or yes, we each? work hand in hand okay. to, you know, make sure that everything is in order. So is yes. there a specific hospital having only optician or you, you always find all these three people in um one hospital oh no it doesn't so work you can have sometimes a... you can have ophthalmologist there yeah. sometimes you can have optometrist there it depends oh, okay. okay all right so but um, normally optometrists are mostly in the clinics oh, okay. yeah right. yeah the ones who are mostly there so yeah. do we have um, um ophthalmologist hospital like a hospital for only ophthalmologists for them to be doing eye surgery only eye surgery oh uh, okay i think we have hospitals like that available but there will be one or two so, optometrists also around oh, right. yes so what are some of the misconceptions people have about eye health okay so one is wearing glasses between your vision and it's not true you okay. see the glasses that we wear we wear them to correct our vision. Oh, okay. We don't wear glasses to get blind. 
Okay. You see, some people have this belief that oh, when you see someone wearing yeah, glasses, they say it means if it's not medicated and you put it on, you get blind. Oh no, it's not true. So they are all not true. Yes, we wear it <laughs> to correct our vision. Let's say you are you are reading. You see, mm. you are reading, and you are not able to read the things like you don't see them clearly. Okay. So you are wearing the glasses to enable you to see the things clearly, clearly. so that you appreciate it. So you even see, if it's not medicated, you it's can't. not like even if it's not medicated, we have prescriptions. Okay. When you come to the clinic and you have a problem, okay. we give you glasses that were prescriptions. Oh, you okay. see, yes. Right. But some people wear glasses to, you know, protect them from UV lights and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that one too also there. Okay. But having a good prescription glasses <laughs> is key. Okay. You get it. Okay. Yeah. But me, for instance, I'm not having any eye problem, but mm -hmm. I'm just putting on for life. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I'll be going blind. Oh, no. It's not true. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, Thank you true. very much for clearing that part because a lot of people will see me and say, are you having eye problem? I'll say no. Then you're going blind because it is not medicated or prescripted. So, oh, okay. Tell right. them you have, um, you are sensitive to light. So right. you are wearing it to protect yourself from oh, okay. UV radiation. Thank you for clear, uh, clearing that part. Mm. It was very important. Yeah. So what are the key steps people can take to maintain a good health as we age? Okay. So as you age, your body undergo a lot of natural changes, a whole lot of changes. You, your body undergoes a whole lot of changes. Okay. The same implies to your vision. Okay. Your lens can become less elastic. Your okay. pupils can become small and all that. So as you are aging, we normally advise people to go to the clinic regularly to check their eyes. Okay. Yes, that's one. And also, you have to quit smoking. As you are aging, you shouldn't be smoking at smoking all. Smoking causes eye problems. Yes. Wow. When you smoke, you can get a whole lot of eye diseases. You can get cataracts, so it's macular not, degeneration. It's not only no, it's not only the um, lungs. Destroying your lungs. And, yes. Wow. Oh, okay. So smoking causes eye effects. Yes, a whole lot of eye effects. You see the chemicals in it. They are not safe so, for your eyes. Yes. Okay. So if you know anybody that, that smokes, smokes, please advise the person to stop. All right. Yeah. And the third one is staying hydrated. You have to drink uh, more oh, water. Okay. Yes. And also, you have to eat foods, a well-balanced diet, foods which are rich in omega-3 fatty acid and antioxidants. Right. Foods so, such as vitamin A, vitamin C, okay. vitamin D. We have foods like salmon, vegetables like cabbages okay. and all, all that. Okay. Yes. So that food are good for yes. the eye. They are good for the eye. Okay. They contain minerals, gluten, and other things that keeps the blood vessels in your retina very strong. All right. Yeah. So how how has technology such as layer surgery and diagnostic tools changed the way you approach eye care? Okay. So the integration of advanced technology such as la laser surgeries and diagnostic tools have significantly enhanced our approach to eye care. Okay. So these innovations, you know, enables eye care professionals to provide more precise diagnosis, personalized treatments, and also several surgical procedures. Okay. So through laser surgeries, eye care professionals are able to perform um, this six surgery, which is laser-assisted in situ keratin needles. Wow. It's a surgical procedure which is used to control mm -hmm. Refractive errors, okay. yes. Refractive errors such as myopia, hyperopia, and astigmatism. And we also mm -hmm. have um, cataract surgeries, which okay. also involves phaco emulsification, yeah. mm. which also involves the Your use wife. of lasers. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Yes. Yeah. And we also have break. some diagnostic tools also that we use. Okay. And um, we have some like OCT, which is optical coherent topography okay, what's the function okay so the function is it gives high resolution of mm -hmm. some part of the eye oh, okay. so it gives high resolution of some part of the eye which includes the retina mm -hmm. the optic nerve and the macula you oh, see okay. the retina is at the back of your eyes okay so without 
these machines how are we able to, to you know to detect, detect what is the, what are the happening at the back of your eyes you yes. see so, 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 sorry so optical coherent topography it gives high resolution of the retina the optic nerve and the macula so that we can be able to detect diseases like glaucoma Okay, so, macular degeneration and others. So you mean these diseases hide at the back of the eye? So the not machine... necessarily it hides at the back of the eye, but you see, um, when we take glaucoma for instance, glaucoma is a disease where the optic nerve is deteriorated, and you see the optic nerve is also located around that place. Oh, okay. So that OCT gives a higher resolution of these parts. All you right. see, for professionals to, you know, detect certain eye diseases that is coming from that place so okay. that we can find some, we can treat it well, well, yes, and manage that diseases effectively. All right. So what are the warning signs of serious eye conditions like glaucoma or macular degeneration? Okay. So when we take glaucoma, Glaucoma is an eye disease which occurs, which damages the optic nerve. You see, the optic nerve consists of millions of nerve fibers which send signals to the brain for okay. it to interpret enable. it so that it will enable us to what? See. see. All right. So imagine your optic nerve is damaged. So okay. you have a whole lot of problems. So your vision will be distorted, mm -hmm. eye pain, redness, and a whole lot. Okay. Yes. So normally people with glaucoma, glaucoma has no cure. So normally people with glaucoma, most of the times we advise them and then we encourage them to, you know, take their medications seriously. Okay. Yes. So what are some of the effects? Um, how can I detect? Um, um, you have glaucoma or maybe any eye problem oh that one it depends you see somebody who have some problem maybe who have redness of eye and other things but immediately you see you have those problems that's why it's advisable to you know go to the eye clinic that's okay. what we normally advise people to do okay so yes. must you visit there every month like how we go for checkup monthly at least yes at least um in a year you should go to the eye clinic for maybe two times a year or maybe three times a year it's good so for me for my left eye mm -hmm. you see it always runs out of tear even if i'm not crying you feel you feel that yeah tears it's it, i'm I'll be walking outside and somebody will say yo why are you crying turn up your tears but yes the tears just keep on coming mm. so is that also a sign of maybe I'm getting an eye problem. Oh, not necessarily that. It, ca it could be maybe um, you have dry eyes or something. So okay. with that, you can go to the eye, eye clinic. clinic to check up. Yes, check up and see what you're suffering from. Okay. So how does aging affect vision? Sorry, you made mention of macular degeneration. I didn't talk yeah, about yeah, that. Sure. So when you talk about macular degeneration, macular degeneration is also a condition in which the macula is deteriorated. When you talk okay. about the macula, yes. macula is part of the retina. Okay. Yeah. It's part of the retina and it's responsible for central vision, color perception, and fine detail. All right. You see, so when you have a problem with your macula, you your vision is going to get distorted. Right. Okay. You are going to get vision loss in some cases. So you can get some flashes and floaters to in your eyes. All these are leading to eye blindness. Yes, exactly. That's what I said. You can get vision loss. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. So the vision loss means blindness. Something so, like that. Oh, okay. So how does aging affect vision, and what does the older adults know about IK? Okay. So I think I've already answered that. Yeah. Really, I've already answered yeah. that. So move to the next. All right. Question. So what role do nutrition and lifestyle choices play in preventing eye? Eye care condition. Okay, so nutrition play an important role in eye care in this one. So you have to eat very well, a well balanced diet, a diet which is a, a, a diet that is rich in omega three fatty acids, a diet which contains all the essential nutrients, 
I've already talked about that yes, already. Yes, you talked about nutrition such as carrots. Yes, and all that. You have to also stay hydrated. And the, the one that I didn't add, if you have chronic disease like diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, you must make sure that you take all your medications seriously and you, you must make sure that it's stable okay. because those diseases can also affect your eye. Okay. Yes, we have diseases like diabetic retinopathy. All we right. can also affect your eye. Okay. Yes, so... So, it's, um, and it's all come as a result of having diabetes. Oh, okay. Yes. So diabetes can lead to yes, diabetic retinopathy. Oh wow! Yeah, there is a lot of a lot for us to learn. Yes, exactly. All right. Yeah. So guys, if you have any question, just leave it um under the comment section, and we'll make sure to come back to pick each of you's um um question, then we'll answer it one by one. Exactly. So we will end our video here, but before that, it's your general advice to the public before we end the show okay so my general advice is i've been hearing people say that traditional medication or herbal remedies can cure eye diseases yeah sure okay but me what i would say is they are all culturally significant but um you should also be aware that there are certain drugs that they are not good for the eyes so okay. you should let know more about the drug before oh. you know you use it that's okay. my advice i've been hearing people oh when i'm a koto way i bought this and all that it okay. doesn't help that's why we say that if you have any issue at all with it's your vision eye. go to the nearby eye clinic okay. and they will check you if you have any issue at all they will inform you about it there's no need for you to be buying drugs outside you know, right. and be applying them on your right. eyes where you don't have any idea about it. Right. So I'll advise and urge, I'll urge all of you to be very, very careful about the medications you've been using on your vision. Oh, okay. Yes. So let's say if you are having an eye problem, is there any food you are supposed not to eat? Mm. Or maybe according to the drug, this drug, contain so far so don't take yes when you go to the eye clinic and let's say they will ask you some people they are allergic to a lot of substances that we use in drugs okay, okay. so the practitioner there will ask you let's say let's say oh uh, some people they'll be like oh me, 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 me i don't know anything about it they'll be like okay but when i they'll be like oh when i try this medicine, medicine. maybe i had a lot of issues i had my body was itching, itching and yes, all sure. that so your practitioner will be like oh then stop don't use it again mm -hmm. you get it yeah so okay. it, it, it matters all right yeah, it matters so um maybe someone watching would, would like to contact you personal to have a deep conversation with okay you. okay okay so yeah. i will leave my my snapchat Hang page right. there for you to you know contact so, me on yeah. so what's your snapchat handle Okay, my Snapchat handle is mamiecha3520. Mamiecha3520. Yeah. So guys, if you want to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with her, just contact her on Snapchat. And thank you very much for your time and we are hoping to bring you part two. But before that, leave all your questions you would like to, you want us to answer under the comment section and we'll come back to you. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.